Hi guys, I'm trying to find my new music. That's what's happening outside my house and I don't really have a microphone to attach this camera to just pick up my voice a little. I'm gonna read Cinderella Skeleton for y'all today. Um, I'm really doing it for my friend who goes by name Dragon Moon. She's adorable. I love her. It's by the book is by Robert D. Sam Susie and it's illustrated by a man called David Castro and they're really cool. And they have little dedications here. So the dedication from Robert Sansusi said, From my wonderful editor, Paula Wiseman, with thanks for being such a great friend to Cinderella and to the author. And the dedication from David Castro is simply, For Kirby. So let's begin. Cinderella's skeleton dwelt in boneyard acres near the wood. Third mausoleum on the right, decayed, decrepit, what a fright! On the door with a wreath invited guests to rest in peace. It was the pride of the neighborhood. Cinderella's skeleton was everything a ghoul should be. Her build was long and lean and lank. Her dankish hair hung down in hanks. Her nails were yellow, her teeth were green. The ghastliest haunt you've ever seen. Foulest in the land was she. Cinderella's skeleton stepsisters treated her with scorn. Christine was small and mean and firmly packed with spite and spleen. Tall bony Jane, a scatter brain, was just a vile and twice as vain. They worked Cinderella from dusk till morn. Cinderella skeleton, oh, it seemed that her tasks were never done. She hung up cobwebs every place, arranged dead flowers in a vase, littered the floor with dust and leaves, fed the bats beneath the eaves. Ah, oh, she had no time for rest and fun. Cinderella skirt and stepsisters dressed in fancy clothes, but she only had hand-me-downs, the others torn and tattered gowns. The shoes had worn out tops and soles. In fact, they were so full of holes, they showed off all her bony toes. Cinderella's skeleton asked for help with household chores, but stepmother Screech began to shout, You lucky I don't throw you out! My girls are gems, your common clay, and they even think that they should streak the windows or strew the floors. Cinderella's skeleton, more disappointment lay ahead. Prince Chanel summoned one and all to his frightfully famous Halloween ball. When Cinderella begged to go, her stepmother stared and told her, No, you'll stay at home and walk instead. Cinderella skeleton watched the others leave in her hers, screeching mournful bombazine, her girls in mildew green sateen. And Cinderella made this up, I get to the prince's ball somehow, I'm taking action for better or worse. Cinderella skeleton, off she marched without delay, to the good witch in the wood beyond. Cast kind spells with a generous one. The witch heard Cinderella's plea and nodded, said, Bring to me some things I need and right away. Cinderella's skeleton located what the witch required. A jack o' lantern, fiery eyed, six rats and tra trap held lock inside. Two bats asleep in wings wrapped tight. A cat as black as moon last night. Exactly as the witch described. Cinderella skeleton saw a witch touched one, tap tap to all. The pumpkin turned into a funeral wagon. The rats to nightmares, part horse, part dragon. The bats to footman at the ready, the cat to driver holding steady. The steeds who'd spattered to the ball. Cinderella skeleton, the witch exclaimed, you need no clothes. Her one flash magic to replace Cinderella's rags with a gown of lace, trimmed in silky ribbons and bows, while each one shoe that showed her toes became slippers with satin rose. Cinderella's skeleton was eager to be on her way, but the good witch said, Before you go, there's one important thing to know. You must return before the morning. If you fail to heed my warning, your joy will fade at the break of day. Cinderella skeleton reached the ball and caused the stir. The guest all turned to stir where she stood at the top of the palace stair. As she swept down, she heard the buzz of everyone wondering who she was. Then Prince Chanel bowed to her. Cinderella skeleton, his Chanel said, What oh, a butcher 
spiles like bonfires of blaze at night. Your brightness fills me with delight. Dance with me, oh lady, I implore. She smiled, he led her to the floor, where they walked with graceful dips and things. Cinderella scarf and gazing into Chanel's eyes, was so in love she was unaware of each hateful moment and beautiful glare. That screech bonny jean and gristleen, in the lover's tender scene, she danced till dawn for the lit skies. Cinderella Skelton, recalled to late the witch's warning, she broke from Chanel's dare embrace and hurried to escape the place. Chanel cried, You answered my prayer! But Cinderella fled down the stair, distressed how near it was to morning. Cinderella Skelton, her haste as haste will, brought mishap as she ran for her waiting carriage. The soon prince shouted her office of marriage. She stumbled once, giving Chanel time to grab her foot and cry, You're mine! Then off her foot came with a snap. Cinderella's scars and ignoring the thump of her footless stump, reached the coach and cried, Away! I must be home by the break of day. The race pell mell past the palace gate. The prince kept pleading, Lady, wait! His fan, the foot in his throat, a lump. Cinderella's skeleton. So near dawn her nightmares fair, but morning caught them in mid-flight. Coach shrank to pumpkin in the light. Cats, rats and bats skittered, flitted over the way. Ride and limping, she faced the day, her heart so full, though the magic had fled. Cinderella's skeleton, her life grew day by day more grim. Her family woke her without rest, the new prince Chanel's mystery guest. She drudged, but halfway through some shore. She dreamed she was on the dance floor, as Chanel asked her to walk with him. Cinderella scarfing, her image filled the prince's mind, her days and nights turned to a blue, willing around memories of her, so love long Chanel vowed, I'll start the search for the one who stole my heart, she must be somewhere I can find. Cinderella skeleton, until I find you, I will not rest. Val Chanel, who travelled every place, with her slippered foot in a velvet case. But no one, Duchess, milkmaid, crone, kept much foot bone to anchor bone. Each snapped a foot off for the test. Cinderella skeleton looked up when Chanel came to call. Screech pulled the girl's feet off one, two, saying, Why, oh glue, you good as new? Surely it's a distress. the stress. What chance to be a true princess? Now hurry, the prince is in the hall. Cinderella scarlet and picked the lock with a longish pin. She heard Chanel's voice his gentle tones, drowned by her sister's wails and moans. Bonnie Jane's ankle was too large and thick, and Gristling's thin as a withered stick. And Cinderella came limping in. Cinderella scarlet and while everybody stood wide eyed. She bowed to Shana with this request. Please let me take your marriage test. Her foot bone snapped on and held fast. Shana shouted, I'm much of last. Who is my promised princess bride? Cinderella skeleton, the rarest gem the world has seen. Your gleaming skull and burnished bones. Your teeth like polished kidney stones. Your dampish skulls, your dankish hair. There's nothing like you anywhere. You'll make each day Halloween. Cinderella's garden soon was married to her prince, when they stayed happily ever after, a kingdom filled with joy and laughter. Screech Grizzly and Bony Jane just, who shriveled with envy and shrank to dust, and no one seen or missed them since. The end. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this horrible rendition of a book. I enjoyed recording it because it's a book I truly adore. Um, maybe I'll read something else but not as theatrical as this one, okay? So, thanks for listening. Bye.